Hi guys, welcome to Pinto Vinay Cuisine. This is Chef Pinto here. Hope you all are doing great. Today, let's do fish cutlet, which I use mackerels. It's a very good fish, flaky fish. You can also use if you don't uh, get nowadays mackerels is available. You can get it anywhere. But still, if you don't find mackerels, you can use any type of flaky fish. Uh, mackerel, I will prefer more because it's very tasty and uh, the, the fatty after you make it's fabulous. So uh, let's get started with this. So guys, in order to make this fish cutlet, uh, what we need is uh, uh, main ingredient is the mackerels. Fish, I've taken mackerel, I've taken five pieces. Uh, which we are going to boil the mackerel and then uh, we will debone it. Um, in order for that we need water to boil. Water will not put to cover it. This much water is enough and we need half teaspoon of turmeric powder. Oil, I have taken one tablespoon. Vinegar, I have taken one tablespoon. And salt to taste. This is the first step. Then uh, we'll do the masala later on once this is boiled and we'll debone it. That this turmeric can all get mixed well. And then we will keep this for boiling on a slow range. So guys, we'll check this out now. Since uh, mackerels, I have kept it for boiling. We'll turn this over. Almost half done now. And we will let this on simmer for some more time. So friends, check this out. Uh, this mackerel I have deboned and kept it on the side. The same stock, I have kept it separately. Do not throw the stock. Uh, what uh, we are going to do is, we when we blend this uh, ingredients in the jar, we will add this stock as well and blend it. Uh, three onions I have taken medium size and chopped and kept. Salt to taste and sugar which uh, is one teaspoon. Coriander, fresh uh, coriander leaves, cilantro also been called uh, one fourth of a bunch. Four green chilies. If you want more spicy you can add more green chilies to this. Half inch of a uh, ginger one quart of garlic peeled and kept half a teaspoon of turmeric powder half a teaspoon of uh, cumin powder one inch of cinnamon stick half a size of a lemon ball of tamarind cloves which is uh, 10 each and 15 of uh, black peppercorns so this all will go in a blender jar except this uh, fish and the onions Onions we will saute half and half will add for the mixture raw onions. So we will blend uh, all the ingredients together now in a blender jar. So I have added all the ingredients in this jar. We will blend it. Also one thing uh, the, the stock, the fish which we boiled in. I have added how much I wanted uh, like uh, to blend to make a smooth paste. Do not add all the water to it, otherwise thin mixture you will get. So add limited water, how much you need to make a fine paste. So now what we'll do is, once the pan is hot, we'll uh, add oil to it. Add onions to this. Half a onion and half onion we will, I will keep it to mix it raw. With the mixture. Let it get nicely. We'll saute this onion. 
So this is blend to a fine paste and we'll add the mixture to this. And uh, also the remaining juice I will add it by passing through this mixture. Let this get dry. And uh, once this is dry, we will add this to the macros. So friends, check this out. This is already dried. And now we'll turn off the flame and leave it aside. Let it get to room temperature before we add it to macros. And uh, our final process is remaining now to make the shape and to get the binding agent and coat it with rava and then the cutlets will be ready. So guys, uh, we will do the binding part now uh, before we start uh, sealing it. This mixture we will add to fish also 3 tablespoon of breadcrumb half a bowl of chopped cilantro fresh coriander leaves one egg whole egg and onions which we had kept it on the side half we sauteed and half I added now we'll mix it nicely so friends this is mixed well what we'll do is we have just added all the ingredients and the main was the breadcrumb to absorb the moisture what we'll do is we'll keep this in the fridge for at least an hour before we make shape it out and uh, apply rava and seal it cook it for further process so guys uh, we'll make a nice ball shape And then we'll coat it with semolina. Check this out, this is how it should be. Share your experience in the comment section and uh, we'll take it from there. So friends, the uh, pan is already hot, I have added oil and we will start to fry these cutlets. We will give a golden brown color and then we will turn it upside down. So this is ready to turn now and also if you want to add a potato as a binding agent you can also do that. Potato also if you add it tastes nice. Now since this is ready we will remove it and arrange it in a plate and this is ready to be served. friend thanks for watching our video please like share and subscribe and help our channel to grow press the bell icon so you will get the notification thank you